Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. <laughs> it's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models will practically build Just themselves. <laughs> Let's see what's in this box. Let's see what's in the box. Let's see what's in this box. Yeah, what's in the box, Doc? What's in that box? Hello, folks. It's Mad Dog Merv. Welcome to today's show, the fifth anniversary show. Today, we are going to be looking at, well kind of a best of Mad Dog Merv over the last five years. I've got to tell you, it's been a wonderful ride as I've been putting this video together. I have run across some of the great uh, things that I've been able to, uh, to do and accomplish. And it's been a great ride. It's been a lot of fun for me. And it's been even funner to bring you all along with and, and see what my world looks like. Uh, when I tell the stories, when I do these uh, uh, adventures, and when I build the models. So hopefully you'll get something out of today. And uh, without further ado, let's get going on our fifth anniversary show. So this year I've decided to join in the two-day challenge of buying no kits on February 30th and 31st. There. So... <sighs> In the last five years, it's been a great ride. We introduced you to the doghouse, the place where I work and do all of my modeling, and some of our dogs, uh, our little cookie girl who we lost uh, a year or so ago, my little Harold, the dachshund that uh, I had for, what, 14 years, and he passed away just a few months ago. Uh, Bandit, our little bandy claws, who we still have running around, cute little guy that he is. Our rockety girl, who's still here, and she's a she is a sweetheart. She's a plot hound, and absolutely love having her around. And my big old grizzly boy, who uh, fortunately passed away a couple of years ago. So that was the doghouse, and then we introduced you to the office that I built in the basement, so that I could do some editing and some modeling. Speaking of modeling, um, this is self-explanatory. This sign here. We have done a lot of model car builds here on the channel. Remember this one from the 4th of July last year? And, well, speaking of the 4th of July, this one, uh, putting the flag on the Shelby. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, two 4th of Julys ago, we did this to the Corvette. And cars aren't the only thing I focus on, but I do have a lot of fun with them. Here I am with my 67 Cougar way back in the day, and of course I had to build a model of that. And uh, didn't turn out too terribly bad. I just, I'm a big Cougar fiend, everybody knows that. So I built some of my favorites that, uh, that have been uh, over the years. Also, chargers. I am a big fan of chargers. I owned a charger, well, a couple of chargers over, over the years, and I like building them. Uh, a model of my very first Cougar that's not quite finished yet. I never have done the suspension on that. Also, the Green Hornet, which I still have the suspension to finish doing, but at least the body part's done. Uh, we've done some funny cars, and this is my personal favorite, the old Brewmeister, Murph Brewer's Brewmeister. Uh, another one of our Charger builds. This one from the movie Christine. I need to get it finished one of these days. Uh, tow truck that I put together for the little um, uh, shop that I built. And this goes way back to one of our earliest episodes where I built this uh, Volari. It turned out pretty good. And Every once in a while, I'll do something crazy like this uh, three-wheeled motorcycle. We did a show on this a couple of years ago. And then this last Christmas, uh, this was the hot rod that I built uh, for this last Christmas with Santa and his elf. And last year, we did this conversion of this convertible uh, Mustang from a fastback. 
This you guys haven't seen yet, this candy paint job that I did on the Frankenstude, but it'll be coming up one of these days this year. So every once in a while we would do an airplane. We talked about these wild weasels that I built, and they're now on display at a uh, local hobby shop. And the Red Baron that I did last year, that was kind of a fun little project. Of course, we've had reviews. We've had lots of reviews on the Kit Hoarder stash. The pirate ship was a hit. You know, it's hard to believe it's been five years since I bought the Mustang. Uh, here's my old 98 Cobra with my uh, 2010. Uh, yeah, we've looked at some of the old cars that I've owned, like this old 67 Mustang that I had, and this uh, 72 Charger SE that uh, we were building for my son Thomas that uh, was a pretty neat car. We also talked about at one point in time when I retired a couple of years ago. We had a show on that and my career. You know, I like to uh, play dress up, I guess, and there's a lot of faces to Mad Dog Merv. Uh, that one from last summer, this one from 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just fresh out of high school, kid. Um, we've also had a show on when I was the uh, retail store manager of um, Great Models. Uh, we've done a couple of different shows on St. Patrick's Day, which is one of my favorite holidays. My good friend Mark and the beer that he brews. Um, here I am dressed up as Major Disaster at one of the IPMS Nationals in Phoenix, few years back and here I am as chief breaking wind at one of the parties that I threw and speaking of parties this last year we had the pirate murder mystery dinner and that was a whole lot of fun on the channel we've gone to a few car shows <laughs> I'm the last one to the horn on this old hot rod she just absolutely loved one more time. we don't do a lot of car shows but we do a few uh, there's some really nice rides out and about and it's it was nice to go see him, especially at a free show and especially an outdoor show. But I went to this museum this last summer with all these Harleys. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. And a bunch of Indians added in for good measure. In the last five years, we've talked about some of my heroes. One hero firefighter that uh, died in the line of duty that I have in my family, as well as my dad, and he is my real hero. And his warriors... Um, serving in the Pacific in World War II. We've talked about that a couple of times. Um, on some of my adventures, places like the boyhood home of Butch Cassidy this summer, the Air Force Museum that we have here uh, at Hillfield, not more than 30 minutes away. We've talked about some of the history of Salt Lake City where I live. Uh, here's All Arsenal Hill, and we talked about the big explosion that happened there. We've looked at some of the drive-in movie theaters that used to be here in Salt Lake City that are no longer here. Uh, Suicide Cave here out uh, by the little old town of Garfield that's now gone. We've looked at some of the old schools here in Salt Lake City. This is the old Granite High School. We've, we've talked about some of those. And we've gone to places like the old Lark, Utah, which is now gone. Uh, Another ghost town that we told the story of. Been out to Wendover Airfield to the big B-29 hangar that's out there, the Enola Gay hangar. And we are going to go back and we're going to look at it some more. And again, these old schools here uh, throughout the state are just absolutely fabulous. In the last couple of years, I bought this blazer so that I could actually go off-road and enjoy a little bit. And this last year, we put some nice new tires on it, so we should be able to do it a lot safer. But... We've been able to get out and explore some fun areas here in Utah. The Lincoln Highway and, and where it went um, through, the, uh, through the state here, as well as getting up some of the canyons, looking at some of the leaves and some of the beautiful views that we have here. Yeah, we've taken the Blue Blazer on a few adventures. Um, gone to some old ghost towns like this old Yosepa that's uh, out in the Dugway area. We did that a couple years ago visited that area. Sure is nice to be able to get off-road. I'm glad I have a vehicle that I can do it with. Speaking of off-road, uh, some of the fun adventures I've had with my kids and my grandkids, either in these ATVs or other vehicles. Yeah, you never believe I fit in one of these. Well, I don't. That's the thing. Um, I don't fit very well in this thing, so we're just taking it easy today. 
not all our adventures have been in the truck. We've had uh, some great adventures like going to the Outlaw Distillery, Mark and I, sampling the libations, uh, going to the Pie Pizzeria and telling you all about that. Oh, this makes me hungry just looking at this. Uh, some of the other things we've done is we've uh, Polynesian chicken with my uh, with my kids uh, at some of the parties that we've had, and of course brats. Um, always got to have brats for Merv Fest every April. So, yeah, we've uh, done some fun things with food on this channel. Well, food and travel, and one of the best things of all, going to modeling places like Nationals, where I got to run into some of you folks out there in the world when I went to Omaha this summer that was a lot of fun but going to some of these model shows and being able to be a vendor and the people I meet and the connections I make are great and of course here we have the greatest hobby shop in the world locally uh, that we did a grand opening on a couple of years ago of course I enjoy spending time with my buddies and a couple of these guys here I still hang out with to this day my friend Dave ever since high school and you know these crazy days um, yeah we're still still good buddies um, I helped him bring his Nova home he, you know he's a movie star he was in this scene in uh, the Sandlot if you can pick him out good for you I sure have enjoyed doing the morning coffee segments that we do every Sunday Looks uh, like somebody got it's a lot of fun for me to just kind of be able to give you kind of a behind the scenes like and a that, preview yeah. of what's going to be coming up speaking of coming up well let's hope we get to visit more junkyards we've done some in the past that documented some of the old cars hanging around Utah uh, we're going to still try and get into a few more of these there's a couple that I really want to get into that I haven't been able to yet uh, speaking of cars, uh, Flog Fest down in St. George. We'll go back and see that again. But man, talk about a great car show. Oh, back to modeling, doing the ships. The big ships was a lot of fun this last year. But tanks really are, uh, I, I think, my favorite of all my modeling subjects to build. Um, here's my Fury and my Freedom Tank together at the hobby store. And some of the other builds that we've done, these World of Tanks builds that I like to do, um, kind of unique to the game, World of Tanks, which we know I like to play. Um, but we'll be doing more tank builds, more armor builds, uh, coming up in the next year or two. Uh, it's got plenty of, plenty of them to keep me busy. And figures, of course, this one didn't turn out all that great, but, uh, I sure do like at least trying to build the figures. Last year, my daughter got married. Remember this? She got married, and for the wedding cake topper, she wanted a tank with special colors and figures, and that was a lot of fun doing that show. Um, like I say, I like doing the figures, uh, particularly Marines, but uh, I do like the 35th scale figures. And here's some pretty shady figures. Uh, back when the Armor Museum was still here in the Tooele Valley, it's gone now, but uh, a couple buddies and, and I hanging out there. So, like doing a lot of the HO scale train layout stuff. And here's some uh, different pieces that I've done on the show here in the last few years that have been a whole lot of fun. Of course, not just the HO scale stuff, but uh, sometimes doing something weird like these craft bottles with a HO scale uh, boat on top and converting a KFC into a Wiener Queen. <laughs> that was a fun show. Definitely. Uh, making Skull Mountain. Uh, some of these how-tos that I've done I've really enjoyed because quite often it's my first attempt ever at doing what I'm doing. Like this particular layout, the uh, wintertime layout that I did. Um, tunnel portal that we did on uh, our how-to, one of our how-to videos. Again, it was the first time I'd ever tried anything like this. And speaking of railroad, getting up to places like Promontory, where the Golden St Spike was driven, and some of these trains that I've that I've owned, like the city of Los Angeles, city of San Francisco, the um, American Freedom Train that I still have to finish building, but I have most of the components to do, or the Pacific Coast Daylight, which is, again, one of my favorite schemes. And we'll have more train stuff coming up in the future on the channel. And here is the good old California Zephyr with uh, all of the cars and the consist. 
Wow, I gotta find a way to display those better. Um, here is my 4014, my big boy. And on the channel we've talked a bit about uh, railroad history and here's good old Sugar House where I grew up. Uh, the little railroad going through there. Recently folks we talked to the world's most interesting modeler, my friend Rob, and man talk about an exciting five years it's been for me. So thanks for joining us on this uh, show and keep joining us in the future. We've got some great content coming up and thanks for all you've done to make this 